All right, what's going on? Thanks for watching. I'm glad you clicked on this interview because I know that when I was growing up, I used to always think about Guillermo and, and how he got caught doping. And I wonder about that with athletes now when, they, when we find out that they were doping. What do they really think? What would they say if they could speak for themselves? It seems like every story we hear has always got some sort of lean to it, right? Somebody's trying to paint them this way, paint them that way. All I did was ask Guillermo about his doping, what he thinks of it, what it did to his life, what he learned from it. So here's his answer. I hope you give him some time to talk. And, and let him speak for himself before you make up your mind. Enjoy. When you had failed the, the test, right, and you yeah. had gotten banned, how do you, I mean, obviously you only, got, you only got caught for the hypertension, right? Yeah. But how does that feel when it's you? Of course, you fought it, and everybody knows that you fought it, and it got repealed. No, but this is, this is a, in the beginning for me, was was clear in, in my case, was I, the first day I, I, re, I know that, just, I, I tell you what happened, and, it's, uh, and then the, the, in the end of the case, is was everybody give me, the, you know, what I say in the first day was 14 months before, uh, was what really happened. You know, the doctor make a mistake in the, in the tournament of doc, in, in the tournament of uh, ATP tournament, yeah, yeah. and for that the rules change always. ATP have that before, and the, I don't know now, but before they change all the rules, the pain of the case happens. What they mean? Really? I when I start to play ATP, it was like I tell you, long time ago. Yeah. The only thing I say, never go to the doctor, to any doctor. Go to the tournament doctor, and this is fine. Uh -huh. And this one is what I born. I believe in the doctor's tournament. Yeah. And my only fall in the end of my case was. I didn't recheck uh -huh. what the doctor gave to me. I pay my sanction because I have in my body, but it was a mistake of the doctor of the tumor. Yeah. I believe in what I born to know, to try to in, in the doctor of the tournament. But after my case, they say, the doctor of the tournament is not part of the ATP. ATP is part of the tournaments because the ATP, they don't pay to the doctor. The tournament pay to the doctor. And then you need to, you need to check every time because it's not part of our you know huh. our stuff and then i pay for that 14 months out of the tour yeah. but you know it's you feel bad because for what happened i'm really after that i try to recheck everything they give me yeah. in the doctors and everything. it's okay it happened to me it was no it was one of the worst moments in my career by far but I keep in there. This is, uh, you know, happened to me. I have far cirurgery in my wrist, and always I, I get back. I have this, you know, the, the doping problem. I get back, and I get back better than before. This is the only, the only thing I was really focused. Just when I have a chance to come back, I'm gonna try to show everybody they support me. There was a lot of people. Just I own that spot, and what's better when I come back like in the 2006. I win the first challenger I play, yeah. and then I make I win like I play six challenges, I won five, yeah. something like that. Forty-two and then I, of the first yes. forty-seven matches back. And then I I won Davis Cup. Was after that I even not play ATP and I, I play the Davis Cup. I won the two matches, and then I, I win the first ATP I play in um, in Brazil, and then it happened the, the federal match like everybody remember yeah. and all the stuff and for that. I really, I really, that was almost my payback for the people they are support me in this really bad moment to me. Yeah. And then I feel I own that. Right. Because it was my only chance to pay to, you know, the guys they are, they are there in the, in the bad moment for me. And really, I, I, I feel happy, you know, I can do it. Uh -huh. So that was my, my intention to keep it there, to keep it there. And these 14 months, that was really tough.